Hey everyone, this is David and welcome to Pocket Lint. Today I've got a really nice high-end gaming keyboard to review for you. This is the HP Omen Sequencer Gaming Keyboard, a very high-end premium gaming keyboard with some really cool features. This one will set you back $119.99, which does sound like a lot of money for a keyboard, but hopefully by the end of this, you will have as much enthusiasm for this product as I do. So while this is a sponsored video by HP, I really like this product and I don't have too many bad things to say about it. Although there is one thing, so let's start there. Now this could be a positive or a negative depending on your point of view, but this is a very heavy keyboard. Don't listen to HP's marketing fluff where they say the aluminium body makes the keyboard really lightweight. It doesn't, it's heavy as hell. The keyboard is heavy, there's no way around it. But for me, I like that it gives you a good solid base to be frantically bashing buttons in the heat of battle. The anodized aluminium body does make it heavy, we've established that, but it also makes it very durable. And overall, the quality of this keyboard is outstanding. And it should be really, it costs a lot of money. It's a mechanical optical keyboard, meaning that it uses mechanical switches so you get a good positive click with every press, but the signal is transmitted using light. This gives the keyboard a 0.2 millisecond response time, 10 times faster than a regular mechanical keyboard. And the high quality of the keys means that it's rated for 70 million clicks, which is a hell of a lot of gaming. Of course, it wouldn't be a high-end gaming keyboard without having some RGB backlit keys. These are fully customizable via the HP Omen Command Center, giving you nearly 17 million different colors to choose from. You can highlight certain keys in one color or use HP's own presets, or even assign functionalities to specific keys and set it up exactly how you want it, just as you would expect from such a premium device. So let's take a closer look at some of the features that you get with the HP Omen sequencer. On the left side, you will find five dedicated macro keys, which can be set up for anything you want. Complementing that on the right side, there is some media control keys for play, pause, stop and skip. Just above that, we find the giant red roller to control the volume. Just over to the left of that, past the HP Omen logo, there's a small button with a mute sign on it. This for me is a really nice feature because it will stop all incoming notifications coming to you and interrupting your game. There's nothing worse than when you're in the middle of a game and some random app decides to notify you of an update and then the PC reverts to desktop. I don't think it is something that happens all the time. It used to happen with a few games that I used to play. I don't think it happens that much now, but it's still nice to know that nothing's gonna come in and interrupt your game when you have that new button on. Another nice little feature is the USB port just here on the left corner of the keyboard. Although I don't think it's a particularly fast USB, as it will only charge my phone at a relatively slow pace, HP says it's there to help with cable management. And speaking of cables, there is one long braided USB cable coming out the back of the HP sequencer, which splits into two at the end, so you do need to have two USB I'm sure everyone's got two USB ports on their PC to use this keyboard. Let's flip the keyboard over and take a look at the other side and we have a nice shiny Omen logo. In fact, it's actually really nicely presented, painted, decorated on this side, which isn't really something you would always see. Usually the side that you're not going to look at is going to be black, but HP have taken the time to make it look stunning. It looks great from every angle. You also get two feet on the back, which will angle the keyboard slightly towards you. Again, these are very good quality and have a nice positive click to them. As I said at the start of this review, I really like this product. If you're a gamer, it's a no brainer. Spend the money, get this keyboard, and you will not regret it. Trust me, don't trust me. Whether you trust me or not, just get the keyboard. You will enjoy the keyboard. But even if you're not a hardcore gamer, you're just somebody who likes to play, I don't know, Flight Simulator two or three times a week, but you do use your keyboard a lot, then definitely check out the HP Omen sequencer. It's just such a pleasure to type with. Those clicks are really satisfying and they really let you know when you've pushed the button or like me, when you've made a mistake, like hitting two keys at once, you will hear two clicks so you know straight away that you've made an error. Plus having control of all the media there on the keyboard is really useful. I did think at first that that giant volume roller bar was a little bit gimmicky, but having used it now, I really love it. I think it's a great place to put it and being oversized means it's really easy to find. It's it's just so useful. The HP Omen Sequencer Gaming Keyboard for 2022 is probably my favorite product that I've had the pleasure of reviewing from HP for Pocket Lint so far. Yes, it's heavy and expensive, but it's also very high quality and a pleasure to use. So it comes highly recommended. 